is the ECG app. <laughs> it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. How many times have you been watching your favorite video and say, gee, I'd like to send that to my friend. How would I do that? Let me show you the best way to do that today. Well, let's watch the video and see. Now, that was a video called the Misunderstood Galaxy Watch 4 that I made last year. The purpose of this video today is to show you the different ways that you can pass on the links to this video if you'd like to share it. So let's have a look at this and see how it's done. Is the ECG app going to diagnose your heart? So this is the screen that we're watching the misunderstood Galaxy Watch 4. And if you come to the top, you'll see here is the URL, which is the link to this video. So what we could do is just take this, we're going to highlight it, and we're going to right click and copy this, and then we're going to come over, and I'm going to send an email to my fan friend Byron and tell him about this great video. So all I have to do is to click paste and copy the URL, and here is the URL of that specific video. Now one of the big advantages of using Gmail with YouTube is that by placing that URL or the web link into our email, after we send it, the receiver gets a clickable link. In other words, this automatically makes a link that you can click and it will take you right to the video. So let's watch how this is done. We now have sent the email and you'll see a uh, clickable link. Let's click this link. And is the ECG app going to diagnose your heart? And here we have the video playing. So that is the first way in which you can send the link to your friend. All right, let's look at the second way. In the email I've shown you now, I've, inc I've added a text saying, Byron, you must watch this great watch video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to come down now to this little button at the bottom. It says insert link. I'm going to click this. And now I'm going to paste that URL here. We can even test this by clicking this button here. Is the and it will show us that the test is test link is OK. And now I'm going to say OK. And now we have created a clickable link, but it's not. And now we've created a clickable link, but is related to the text that we've put in. So you just click on this text and it will play the video. This is called an embedded link. Lots of fun to do this, and it looks much nicer than the one above. Let's see what it looks like when Byron gets the copy. All right, now we've sent this uh, email to Byron, and you'll see that the uh, this is the URL link, and this is what it looks like. And then this is the embedded link. Click this. So you could click either of these two links and they will take you directly to the video. All right, let's look at our email again. In this email, I've now added, Byron, watch the below link for a great video. So now I'm going to insert a link below here, but let's go and find out where the link. We've now come over to our video, and I want you to come down to the share option here. We're going to click share, and what we're going to see is this is the URL identifier for that video. But there's a unique, if you want, serial number or identifier for that specific video that you'll see after it says YouTube. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to now place this underneath Byron. Now what I want you to look at carefully here is this is an embedded link. In other words, we didn't have to actually embed the link. This is a special link that Google has made available that will automatically embed itself 
into your email. So this is a clickable link. You actually can save some steps. Also, if you come up now to our um, uh, Chrome browser and you click just that link, no www or anything like that, and we hit enter, guess what you're going to find? You're going to find here's the video. So it is a searchable link just by that unique identifier. Alright, here are the three ways in which we could send a link. I sort of like the middle one. You can choose on which you prefer. But just remember, if you look at the third option I showed you, this is a unique identifier link that you can use in your website design. And in most cases, just by typing this identifier in, you'll be able to embed the link. All right, let me show you the fourth way of sending this to Byron. We're going to come back to our video, and as we come down, we're going to see, remember we did the share button before, but now we're going to do the save button. So let's click the save, and this is going to bring up this menu. And I'm going to create a new playlist. So let's click create new playlist, and I'm going to say videos or Byron. We're going to make this unlisted so only um, Byron can see these. And now we're going to go create. And if we go to uh, save the video again now, we will see uh, the videos for Byron. And we're going to click this and click this now. All right, let's go back to the home screen on YouTube. If you come down here on the left side, you're going to see uh, history, videos, keep coming down until we say show more. Let's click this. And here we have our videos for Byron. This is where the playlists are shown. So we're going to click on this one, which is videos for Byron. And you'll see here's our video. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little link here to share. So what we're going to do now is we're going to share the playlist. This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to click this little button here. And this is going to, of course, give me a URL. I'm going to copy this URL. And let's come back to our letter, which we see here. So when we come back to our email that we're sending to Byron, I've now added Byron, keep this link for great watch videos. So instead of him sending him the, the link to the one video, we're going to paste in this link. And once Byron saves this link, any videos that I add to that playlist, Byron automatically will be able to be updated and see. So this way we can send a lot of different videos as we discover them to Byron for great watch videos. Now in the fifth link, you'll see that I've taken and embedded the URL in the fourth link into the sentence. So it now is an embedded link, and I think looks a little bit better. I'm not going to go over how to do that as we just did it in the prior link. All right, the sixth way to do this would be to shorten the original URL link up a little bit. And I've used two pieces of software in the past to do this. I've used uh, a Chrome extension called Bitly or one called tinyurl.com. Both of these are free and available as an extension on your browser. Let me show you how uh, to use Bitly. Now I find with the embedding feature that I use in email, I don't often use these programs anymore. But I just wanted to show you how Bitly works. It's quite easy, it's free, and let me show you how it can shorten the length of a URL for your, uh, for your email. All right, here we are back at the misunderstood Galaxy Watch 4, and let's come up. This is the URL that, is, uh, that we're on, and this is what we use to play this particular video. So we're now going to just highlight this, and we're going to come over to this little circle here, which is the Bitly extension that I have installed. We're going to click this, and this is the uh, this is the Bitly uh, 
extension um, that pops up. Uh, now we can title this, and we can title this as the uh, misunderstood, we'll just call it the Galaxy Watch. And I'm going to copy the extension. I'm going to copy this. Uh, this is the shortened URL. I'm going to copy this now. So we're going to take this uh, link we've copied and bring it over here to our uh, email that we're going to send Byron. And we're now going to paste this in. And as you'll see, this uh, this is a shortened this is a shortened uh, URL as compared to this uh, original long link that we have. Uh, and this would, of course, could be uh, embedded into a link as we've shown you before. But this is a way in which you can shorten up the, uh, the link by using uh, Bitly, or you can also use tinyurl. All right, let's look at our final email we're going to send to my friend Byron. You see it, I've done it six ways now. The first is, uh, we put the link, the exact URL link of this video, which you'll see uh, here in, in uh, example number one. This is the URL that we copied right from our browser into the email. The second thing uh, we did was then we changed this a bit and we embedded the URL link right into text. So in this case, in number two, we uh, Byron just has to click on the link here and it will... Um, uh, bring the video right up. In item number three, we use the unique identifier uh, for the um, YouTube video that I showed you where to find, and we just put that in, and we saw that it immediately became blue, which made it an embedded link. Pretty cool. We then, um, we then made a playlist in item number four, we made a playlist for Byron in which uh, that video was put and any future videos on watches or whatever I want to put in there, I can just add those and as long as Byron has this link, it will show all the videos. And the fifth way was uh, we embedded that link in four in number five and uh, Byron keep this link for a great watch video and of course um, we embedded it in there and Byron just has to click that and it'll take him right to the, um, all the videos that we've put in that playlist. And item six is, of course, we shortened this original URL up with using a, a software called Bitly, and we created this uh, shortened link here. Now, in fact, when you do send this link and you, we do send the email out, it will turn blue and it will be an embedded link automatically with Bitly. Those are the six ways in which we can uh, use links in Gmail. Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Please remember to like and subscribe. Subscriptions really help us continue to make great videos. Embedding links in Gmail, what you need to know.